the excellent technical level of the Okayama Dojo members, the deep friendship and the generosity of all of them have been fundamental to overcome the difficulty in learning. Judo practice becomes very difficult and incomplete when you don't have a group of people. All participants learn by observing each other. You learn from the most advanced as well as from the beginner. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Tokushikai Inside Look podcast. Today we're speaking with Osvaldo Marcella from the city of San Carlos de Bariloche in Argentine Republic. Osvaldo has been training for more than 10 years in Kudo, during which time he's obtained the rank of Yondan awarded by the All Nippon Kudo Federation. In this interview, we talk about his starting of Kudo and helping to develop this art in Argentina. We talk about his travels to learn and the discovery and growth of his relationship with the members of the Mitsui Dojo in Okayama, Japan, and the many lessons he's learned from Sensei, Senpai, and Kohai along the way. Osvaldo has kindly shared his notes from the interview, which can be found via a link in the description. Despite his age, Osvaldo continues to exude the qualities of a beginner's mindset and is a role model for anyone who wants to follow these martial practices at any point in life. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy this interview with Osvaldo Marcella from Argentina. Okay, at one point, I felt the desire to shoot an arrow. Not to hit something, but for the sensation of doing so. Perhaps a memory of my childhood that returned in my matri. Trying to bite the mother western how I entered to the world actually in the searcher. And a photograph of archer practice pseudo came up. The aesthetic, what I observed in Japanese clothing, the type of the ball very high and simple, the movement of the taihai, the explosion when the Hanare occurred, all of this aroused my curiosity. I continued searching on the internet and I happened to find a blog of someone in my city gave Kudo classes and I made an introduction with this person. So what was the community like in Argentina at that time when you started? In June 2010, when I began the study, there was only a small group in Buenos Aires, Constituent Association, and another in Bariloche, the city where I live and almost 2,000 kilometers away. Oh, wow. Can you talk about that region or the city that you live in and where you practice? My city is a small town located on this mountain range in the northern Patagonia region, 900 meters above the level, surrounded by forests and lakes of great beauty. It is a town whose main economy is tourism, where in winter you can enjoy skiing and the rest of the year enjoy natural beauty in an environment without pollution. During the winter, it is difficult to have regularity to the practice of Kudo, since the weather begins with rain, then snow, or there below zero degree of temperature. In spring, summer, autumn, the weather is very pleasant and the days are longer. Night practice is in those mode, a very specific light on the target. It's an experience that is very much enjoyed. Under this condition, posture can be intensified in, in that sense in Japanese. And curiously, the uh, successes are greater. Perhaps because the matter is not seen and no desire influence our mind. It is uh, something that I recommended to the Kudo student. Yeah, that sounds like a great experience. Do you have, could you talk about maybe some of your more memorable experiences like that in the last few years? Uh, the experience that I will never forget are all related to my Okayama Sensei. The first was in 2015 when I first attended a Kyoto seminar in Nagoya, Japan, where I obtained the third round. After the seminar, I traveled to the Okayama to visit a dojo and asked if 
they accepted me as a student. Upon entering, he was practicing Tomitero Ojima Sensei, approximately male uh, 80 years old, with another person. The dojo belongs to the Mitsui Company and is uh, 102 years old since its founding. In our uh, rudimentary English, we were both able to communicate and I asked him if I can be your student. He immediately welcomed me and we coordinated the day's time for a week of practice. It was as immediate response without any condition with the cordiality of someone who seemed to be waiting for me. It was a very special and shocking moment for someone like me who live on another side of the world with a low level and a different culture. All the other senses always had the same attitude. From that moment on, once a year, I was traveling to Japan for an intense week in that dojo. All the members are higher than Godan or to Yoshi Nanadan. The second experience occurred the last day of this uh, that first week on April 2015, when my teacher Oshima san gave me as a gift two paintings, writing by him in Shodo, scripture Shodo in Japanese, with the inscription to the dragon, which means wisdom, and the other the car. This scripture can be found in the camisa of my dojo, on both sides of the symbol of infinite towa in Japanese that I covered in wood by myself and to which I wait each time I enter and in the ray when I begin the practice. The third experience was in 2018 when my teacher, already a friend, gave me his own jacket with 25 years of use. It's very important it's very important, the jacket for Yudoka and for my sensei. And that I am using perfectly until now. The previous year, 2017, I had already passed my Yodan exam for them. Oh, that is something special to have your teacher pass on something that they've been using for so long and give it to you. What other things did you receive from your sensei or senpai there? Are mm -hmm. there any specific lessons that you learned? I, I will mention on, only two. Science, I consider that uh, in the, uh, they cover the entire judo. Only two is, is, <laughs> is so much. I will mention only two consider that they covered the entire judo. First, the technique of the shot. First. The technical aspect must be met with a big, strong, and correct shock. Big, strong, and correct shock. Big. Big, it's referred to opening the chairs and separating the elbows on the, the maximum opening in Hanari. The body spanned not only to the right uh, and the left, but from the feet to the head, as if uh, ascending. Strong does not mean much intention, but uh, the, uh, the election to use the internal force of the dorsal muscle and affirming the whole body on the ground and that the bones have good support in the joint, allowing muscle relaxation. In the left hand, in Tenouchi, only the little and ring finger press the yumi in the palm of the hand which can be observed in the strength of the triceps. The hand serves as a support for the yumi and the expansion, and a support to prevent it from turning with it, after the passing through Daisan, which is the high pull point before lowering the yumi to the level of the mouth. Third is right. This is simply to understand all moments from entering the dasho, the shock, and the exit must be according to the teaching that was transmitted to us uh, through the ears. 
there must be no modification on the part of the actor. The change that occurred in the Kyoto tennis were made by Greek master and over long periods. The spiritual aspect to call it deep. Technique is important, it's necessary, it's devices, but this is, is fundamental. The sp spiritual aspect to call it deep, the fourth condition of the shot. Everything that the human brain builds uh, or transforms is born from our mind based uh, purpose. I can be a space zone, a quantum computer, a building, a robot, etc. We can also call it willingness, spirit, energy. It is that which passes through us, which I will call with those words but we do not know where it comes from. We have only can use as many times as one wants because it's the inexhaustibly like mysterious love. The first three aspects of the technical part advance, the deep that I can spiritual becomes essential. It's, it's essential. A correct, strong, or be shot that hit the other. It is a lack our spirit does not come by beauty, be in Japanese. Nor does it produce the pleasure of emptying our spirit or energy and immediately reloading it. Like a black hole that gives and absorbs immediately but with ever more force. This which rarely happens to those who have a few years of practice or are still too young to perceive it. I consider that it is the objective that we uh, should seek because it contains the wonderful pleasure of our mind that empty itself and them. Feel that immediately with the shot that made the arrow fly uh, is searching for infinity. The infinity symbol is placed in the highest part of the Matoba and is the logo of our dojo. That is a state of mind where this is no so activity whatsoever. If we have empty mind, is what is described as meditation. This is what prompts me to take my Yumi, I enter my garden dojo. This word of mine explains very little. I'm not sure if it is correct to combine this description of what is happening because each one with ear of practice and self-observation my experience does play pleasure of building working the path of the bow. Thank you for sharing so much. These these lessons from your sensei are very valuable and insightful in, in the way that we look at the practice as more than just shooting arrows into a target. So thank you for that. Going back from learning from the senseis, maybe you can talk about your start in development of Kido in Argentina, in your <clears throat> hometown. Uh, during my first years, I received instruction in my city, Bariloche, Argentina, North Patagonia. Later, I considered it's necessary to continue with my current instructor. Uh, your name is Koyo Kabe Sensei in the city of Buenos Aires. From that moment, I became a member of the Argentine Kudo Association. Upon obtaining the Yondan for Dan, our association considered it company to open Towa Kidoyo Bariloche in October. 2017 as an associate member and to take my instruction. The Argentine Kudo Association has a dojo in two cities of Argentina, Buenos Aires and Bariloche. Mm, so you're teaching in Bariloche now. How did that begin? How did you start the dojo? My house is surrounded by a large park that allowed me to build a dojo where I currently teach. This may daily practice possibly something essential to advance, even more so when it is done with our permanent teacher to observe, correct and want to consult. Three times a year, I traveled to the city of Buenos Aires in two hours of flight and stay three days my instructor. And this means a great physical and economic effort. 
A year after starting the stu study in 2011, I did my first time, showdown in Minnesota, where I had the great opportunity to have uh, Ishima Masao -sensei, sensei as teacher. In 2012, I passed the Nidan second round at the Davis Seminary, California, in this time with Sakuma Sensei and Kubota Sensei. In 2015, I made my first visit to Japan, participated in the Nagoya International Seminar when I obtained my Sandan third line with Master uh, Usami and Honda. Uh, the latter sadly passed away last year. In 2017, the city of Buenos Aires hosted the first South American Seminar organized by our Argentine Kyoto Association. On this occasion, I was evaluated with the current level of Yondan for Dan. Annually, since 2010, except this year due to the pandemic, I participated in international seminaries and from 2015 also in the Okayama Dojo surrounding my, all my sensei. The excellent technical level of the Okayama Dojo members the deep friendship and the generosity of all of them have been fundamental to overcome the difficulty in learning. Kyudo practice becomes very difficult and incomplete when you don't have a group of people. All participants learn by observing each other. You learn from the most advanced as well as from the beginner. The capacity of observation is fundamental perhaps more than the oral writing world. You, you have to struggle without access to a sensei nearby and you have to be teaching right now. So what, what are some of these challenges that you are facing as a teacher or, or organizational mm -hmm. leader? When I started in Kyudo, everything was confusion, challenge, or good effort. But this ceases to be when it is understood that time is not important. Neither does obtain a level certificate, since the search for perfection produces pleasure. An error is our great teacher, make us a benevolent, seen in Japanese, with ourselves with others. Also, in that way, we let go of, uh, go of the law of the ego, so present always also in martial arts fundamentally for the initial levels. Always in each show there is something to learn because they are all different, like each life that is born. It is much easier to find the oro in the run shot than in the series of the ten that all hit the tiger. At that moment, one feels confused, looking for the true reason for those success to have occurred. The true, seen in Japanese in Kyudo, is the first attitude of the old Kyudokas. In this attitude is not incorporated into everyday life and outside the dojo. We stop living the true Kyudo. We just throw arrows without any meaning. If I not have challenge, nor do I make effort, I'm calm, I only practice, and therefore I advance in knowledge. I observe myself on the path and I improve the pedagogy to transmit it. I feel like this, that I am thanking my own teacher and my teacher and teachers and teachers. It's such great lessons from the Kudo from the practice that it's something that we want to spread to more people. So how do you tell others, people that don't know what Kudo is, what it is all about? It, it's all dependent on the interest they have. Generally, for those who don't have any information, Simply inviting them to observe a practice is something that can go very deeply. Of course, it is uh, to me to convey the message of the beauty of Kyudo. Many times they tell me, I could not do that. My answer is, we can do whatever we chose. I have very personally the ancient law of the attraction. It's very important. Law of attraction. A Kyudo student uh, should never say to, the, to his teacher, I cannot, I cannot. If this happens, it is possible to lose his teaching. 
Fabrication in the face of difficult cannot sit. It is the interest of people of this martial art to help them achieve a better adaptation to the circumstances of the daily life and understanding of a human nature in the universe. About the state of conflict and personal suffering. A man that is in conflict does not allow a nice and correct shot to be made. Cal in Kudo is necessary. In Western culture, desertion in the study and practice Kudo is very great. It is also happening in Japan as globalization is changing culture and creating a modern one. It's not common that the study condition done is playing a ball to obtain the ultimate pressure occur a great number of people. Many want to quickly drop an arrow hit the target. They don't like to enforce century or rallies that must be added to perfectly. It is difficult for them to enter a dojo, maintain etiquette, norm of conduct with the classmates and saying say or do the hanging and cleaning tasks of the place and their own clothing. Kudo for young people is an excellent personal training. For the middle age, a break for everyday life. And for the elderly, the repetition of all life in each shot where they give the, the physical and spiritual energy. And another life is reborn in the next. At the moment, they understand the universal continuity lacking in time that has always been and will continue to be. So what, what do you look forward to next with Kudo in Argentina? What are your expectations after COVID? That the pandemic does not interrupt the study of Kudo, like in national and international seminars. Teachers need to be able to continue the teaching and development that is had in recent years. I hope that in International Kudo Federation impart the necessary protocols for the care of public health and thus continue the activity. That the control of the pandemic allow traveling long distance around the world. A friendship that develop and generate in internet seminars is another of the great pleasure of the Kudo because an international community is created. Just looking at the development of Kudo with the international org, it's important. And in terms of what you like to share, are there things that maybe people don't really know about you or things that you want to clarify or misunderstandings that you want to talk about in terms of Kudo and your practice? I fear that my comment about my experience in Kudo may be interpreted on a religious basis. There is none of it. There is no <laughs> using word, the spirit, empty mind, inner calm meditation, love of attraction, etc., can lead to the wrong interpretation about me. Anyway, I will answer the following. For some unknown reason, I consider myself right of to live in this condition of human being. Therefore, repeating in each shot and fly of the arrow all this life experience is a pleasure that multiplies. If on a practice day of 15, 16 shot, one of them is deep, one of them is deep, that day is wonderful. One of them is deep, that day is wonderful. It is also say, judo is life, an arrow life. Having in a well achieved uh, shot, the feeling of total detachment from my spirit and the immediate recovery of it. It is a wonderful pleasure like participating in a child's generation. I remember Kalin Gibran's poem in the last paragraph, it says, <clears throat> You are the bird for which your children lie leaves arrows are related. Let the bow in your artist's hand be for happiness. Wow. Thank you. I'm just going to ask a few questions now to help people get to know you a little bit better. The first one would be, do you have a quote or a motto or a proverb that you live by? Never, no wish. If there is no desire, there is an uh, internal conflict and therefore suffering until it is activity and ever more. So in this phase of the frustration or not achieving it, 
Different is the observation of what happened to us while working or hitting towards a goal. The motto is not there to give in, but to mark us the direction and prepare our body, mind and body in that line. Observing what is happening to us in the shot allow us the necessary calm to enjoy the small moment of meditation that occurs between the Hanare and the Sanshin. Those are more advanced in practice can extend it that the state of mind from the entrance to the exit of the shaho. Mm -hmm. Is there a thing or something that you've changed your mind on in recent years and why? There are permanent changes due to the observation and acquisition of new knowledge. That is the beauty of knowing that. You will travel a path and you want to get there, like hitting the target. You lose a sight of what is on your way. There is a change of infinity instant that occurs sign at less and birth or, or, or gestation. In my mind, at all times, from entering to the Shaho to leave me, enjoy observing what is happening. Then it does not think, think, does not judge. It has no another activity to observe. It is like a child that even without memory, just look, just look, always look. This is uh, achieved only as the technique advances. A beginner who, upon hearing these words, want to have this sensation, it will fail very quickly because the desire develops that without necessary technique will cause frustration. If you could meet a sensei or practitioner you've never met before and have a conversation with them without a language barrier, mm -hmm. who might that be? Everyone with who I can share our ignorance beside the knowledge. That's a great response. <laughs> all, all. Is there a book or movie or TV show or something that you've read or listened to that has informed how you approach your Budo journey? Okay. Uh, initially, Eugene Herriel's books was very important. I thought it contained subjectivities and errors. There are abundant comments from teachers or judoka that combine their experience. Also, the observation of videos through the internet of the shot that you have attacking yourself. I also have a writing instruction that my sensei, Tomitero Oshima, generously gave me. Mm. What advice would you give someone who wants to start their own dojo? Have a much more advanced level than they study and continue their own learning with more senior teachers. Have didactic and pedagogical capacity, adapting the teaching method according to the need to each student based on the observation or the characteristic to understand the instruction. Back up the world with personal demonstration. You cannot teach what you cannot do. The beginning student must know which are the intermediate stage to reach the advanced stage. You cannot skip this stage until they are consolidated. This can cherish the understanding that time is not important and that time is part of the martial art. Build a solid rock step by step, otherwise bad habits and future. Frustration will develop. Be benevolent with those who have a lower level and give them confidence in themselves. Danish certification can generate personal hierarchies where egos are expressed. No one is a being superior to another. He has simply acquired a more advanced knowledge. It is very common to find this attitude of superiority in those who begin to give instruction early. Not in the sensei who will greet you humility leave their own mistake. Science error is our greatest teacher in life. Just as a student thanks his teacher for everything he recites for him, the teacher must also thank his student because thanks to him he is learning to teach.
If there is a drop of the teacher should check himself to see if, if it is because the his own personal error. May a total delivery of knowledge, seeking that your own student can advance uh, much more than his teacher. Connect it and refer it to other senses of higher level and experience. And enjoy the search for perfection knowing that is not reached. The road towards one direction must be our spiritual pleasure. Mm, thank you so much. The, you shared so many great lessons and insights here that we can just keep going back to over and over. Do you have anything in closing that you want to express or share with the audience, something that you feel deeply about? The path of the RQ, though, is to enjoy calmly and observe ourselves internally. For this, we need the truth, seen in Japanese, so as not decide ourselves, benevolence, same in Japanese, to correct only our mistake with the humility, and from these two conditions, transmit teach beauty, be in Japanese. Shinzen B. Okay. <laughs> Shinzen B. Eh? Yes. First, uh, Shin, two, then benevolence. But we do think only two things produce beauty. It's not beauty. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Th this was great. So there's one thing that wasn't written here that I was just wondering. We didn't talk about before Kudo. What were you doing before Kudo? Oh, not nothing. <laughs> I live in the mountain. I practice uh, climbing. I make a uh, skiing, fly without a motor. I don't know the name. I With no motor. Oh, glider. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, a glider, so it just, okay. the wind just pushes it. Yeah, on the way. Yeah, it's wonderful. Oh, wow. We are, we are uh, very high. It's, we are, it's, it's wonderful. After this practice, I know a lot of places of the world for, for diving. I practice diving. I know three or four times in the Red Sea, all the Caribbean Sea, in the similar the, we, we die is similar to the kudo because we have no thinking there is no gravity uh, is no sound uh, is different the world uh, in the water it's wonderful but i have 76 years old i i can't, <laughs> I can't. 10 years ago i started a kudo that's amazing you, you've done so much <laughs> flying <laughs> diving thank you so much for sharing your experiences in kudo Yes, I hope my experiences may be useful for the, the young people on the older. Elisa was saying how she's enjoyed talking to you on multiple occasions and yes, yes, you were a great person. Yes, yes, with Elisa, she and me uh, go uh, more parallel in the study of beauty. A, a great person, Elisa. I, I, I love a uh, lot of people of Brasilia, my friends in Kyoto. Very nice to meet you. Um, very nice thank to meet you, you too. Um, thank you, thank you very much, and congratulations for the work. Eh? For the thank you. Eh? Okay, okay. See you. See you. See you. Bye. See you. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode because we have a lot more exciting conversations to share as we explore the world of the traditional Japanese martial arts. The Inside Look podcast is available on most common podcasting platforms and on YouTube. Remember to subscribe to not miss out on new interviews as they are posted. We're always looking for feedback to improve, so please write us a review or drop us a line at podcast at tokushikai.ca or on Facebook and Instagram at tokushikai.canada. Until next time, thanks for listening. <laughs>